Well, hello there, and welcome back to Gabriel Knight, The Beast Within. Now, you will, if you've watched the previous episode, which I'm hoping you have, <laughs> you will know that this is an impromptu intro to this episode. Because in the last episode, we, well, I overran, I did the whole, recorded the whole chapter. And realized that it was way too long to condense way too long and way too story filled to to condense it into a one hour video too much stuff going on just too much stuff so i had to split it in you know unexpectedly split it into two episodes so this is the second half of last week's episode <laughs> if that makes sense if you if you watch the last episode you'll know what i mean so last time we delved a bit deeper into the hunting club and got a whole load of more information about the philosophy behind the club itself had a bit of a poke around found some like a secret room well i say a secret room a locked area that we shouldn't have been in just in general there has been another murder and managed to talk to briefly talk to the police commandant which i believe we are going in this episode we are going to be talking to him in his office to start with and i'm going to go from there and finish off chapter four three basically finish off the chapter in this episode so enough rambling for me enough of this weird random intro right <laughs> not a normal one sure see so enough rambling for me just gonna jump straight back in enjoy guys enjoy okay i don't think i've been there either i should go there since region plots can't remember to have, have we been there or not Oh, we have. It's the police office. Come and All right. See her, I'm... At least we can get in now and see him. Commissar Lever, so generous of you to see me. Sit down, Mr. Knight. Now. You will tell me what you think you know about this case, yes? Um, yeah, why How not? How do you say, uh, quid pro quo in German? There is no translation. Thanks so much for your time. Okay, Sit calm down. down. <laughs> what are you proposing, exactly? You want information? I want information. It's, uh, kind of convenient that way. I can't give you police information. Why not? I'm not asking for anything confidential. Hell, I can't even read the damn newspapers around here. Press release stuff, that's all I want. Well, no, not right. too bad to ask for. Nothing then confidential. It's your turn. Agreed? Yes. I hear you. Uh, let's have a chat, you and I. Tell me about yourself. How long have you been a commissar? Ten years. All of them here in Munich? Yes. And a criminal commissar is like, what, a police detective in America? Americans don't have so many ranks, I think. A German criminal commissar is say, more like an English chief inspector. Ah, ah D. D. James. Okay. What? Uh, nothing. I lost that reference entirely. Uh, other victims. Tell me about the other. How many victims, victims are there? What do you want to know? Uh, how many have there been? How many victims have there been? Five, including the one downtown. Could there be bodies out there that you have Five in total. No. 
The killings have been done in broad daylight. Body parts left like a trail of board criminal. Red crumbs? Jack the Ripper Wolf. Just basically not being discreet. Not being discreet at all. Uh, when? When were the other victims killed? The first was 32 days ago. Hmm. Okay, so it's been in the past days month. The zoo wolves escaped. Uh, and the others? The two teenage boys were killed 20 days ago. The Huber girl, six days ago. The speeding up. Maybe. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe these guys getting more desperate or getting more confident. What about the locations of the killings? Uh, any pattern there? You can Ask see about the pattern. If you like. I have a marked map on the wall. Until last night, the killer always struck 30 to 40 minutes outside the city. The first was killed north of München near Esching. The two okay. males were killed in Feldkirchen, that's east. Tony Huber was killed on her parents' farm just west of Lachan. Okay. Tell me about the killer, do you think? Of what forensic does. What does, what does forensic, forensic say? say? About the killer? That information is not for the press. Okay. But the bite mark, saliva, you've seen the bodies, I haven't. All I can say is, it is an animal. Hmm. A big Mind animal. I take a guess? Your boys in the lab say the bite marks are canine and are closer to wolf than to dog. But beyond that, they can't pin it down. Uh, nothing like it on the records. Probably a weird hybrid. I think I've just impressed him. <laughs> I've done a little bit of research. <laughs> have you I have to. I have to. Have you considered werewolf free? Have you. Uh... Have you given any thought at all uh, about the possibility of what? <sighs> Werewolfry. I'm Werewolf. gonna guess that it's a no. It's just gonna be a flat no. <sighs> N never mind. Never, never mind. mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, the killer isn't one of the zoo wolves. The killer isn't one of the zoo wolves, is it? That is information the press does not have, Mr. Knight. I expect it to stay that way. I I'm not, not As you to... pointed out so loudly at the crime scene, evidence on the killer does not match what we know of the zoo wolves. Yeah. It's so probably going to catch hell for that. that. Either there is a mistake with the zoo records. I think the zoo would know if they had a reddish-brown hybrid in the wolf camp. I didn't say it was likely. Another possibility Just is the possibility. That another animal is responsible. Well, possibly, maybe a pet. A, a pet. pet? A pet wolf? As in, maybe the reason you haven't been able to track the thing is that it's going into someone's home. It's Actually, that's possible. not a, not a bad idea. Those are potential. You believe only one animal is responsible. You keep saying an animal. You found evidence of only one animal? One bite pattern, one saliva type? Yes. Okay. So we're dealing with one person or one animal. From the zoo. As you say, the zoo wolves do not figure into this at all. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No, I definitely would not say that. Yeah, I mirror his confusion as well, because I have no idea what he meant by that. Uh, tell me about the downtown killing. Tell me about the latest victim. Tell me about the latest victim. Male, 52, Grossberg was the name. He was a furrier. Marvin Grossberg? Ironic, isn't it? A furrier. What an amazing coincidence. 
Furia. Have any theories Euphoria? about why the killer struck downtown this time? No. Do you? I read somewhere that uh, wolves are clean animals. They don't kill close to their lair unless they're forced to. What lair? What are you talking about? I'm not sure, actually. Random thought. Strange. Anything or knowing about the Have Black you Wolf? Have heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? The hell samples we have are all reddish brown. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd heard of a black wolf in general. Hold on. Okay. I think that riled him a little bit. Are we on to something? Interesting here. So he's definitely heard of the. It maybe sparked a, a mem memory. Here is this. What? Missing persons case. A runaway teenaged girl. It happened in 1989 in a town called Kirschel in the National Park Bayerisch Wald, Bavarian National okay. Forest. Okay, missing girl. Uh -huh. I just thought I remembered something. It was a sad case, you know? She was very pretty. Ah, yes. Here it is. What? There was a supposed witness. An old lady who lived on the edge of town near the woods. She says she saw the girl go into the woods the night she disappeared. Says the wolf got her. The wolf? The old lady had been complaining for some time about a huge black wolf in the woods. But no one believed her. She was verrouped. Crazy. Oh, okay. So maybe she wasn't so crazy after all. Thing. Hadn't been any wolves in those woods for 50 years. So there was probably nothing to it. That's what I thought at the time. Of course, that was years before this case. Never heard of wolf attacks back then. At least I helped him out with the, uh, with the shits. Very interesting, very interesting. Do you get missing a lot persons. of missing persons cases in Germany? Oh, sure. Mostly teenagers, runaways. It gets worse all the time. Families are not like they used to be, yes? True. Suppose not. A lot of people run away yeah, from family issues. Good. We discuss you now, yes? I guess. Absolutely. You want to tell me? Or do I have to ask? I'm investigating the murder of Tony Yuba for her parents. Why? I'm an investigator. That's what I do. <laughs> You're an American P.I.? Of sorts. Kind of? Maybe? A and little bit? Yuba little end bit? Up hiring you? Mutual friends? I see. I'm a and this shadow hunter. Evidence you have? A paw print and some hair samples from the Yuba farm. I spoke with some folks at the zoo as well. All right, Mr. Knight. I don't know how the police deal with you in America, but in this country, we don't like civilian interference. I understand. If you hear something, you come to me. If you see something, you come to me. And under no circumstances Fair are you enough. to speak with the press. You do. And I'll have your passport. Well, you wouldn't like it. It was a bad hair day. <laughs> I am quite serious. I swear. <laughs> not a word. Bad hair day. Mm. All right. Not even casting aspersions that he's bald. I can't stop you from <laughs> investigating. But stay out of our way. Fair enough. Quite Do me own thing. That's me. In the background, lurking and doing the background.
I think. Oh, okay, so we're full on him. So let's check out this map that he's got going on. Because he mentioned the map as well. Oh, okay. Grosper. Didn't Liba say that was the name of the guy who was killed last night? Yes, it was. Can we take... Can we take a note of that? Do I even have a notebook? Tape recorder? Oh, notepad, there we go. Can I take that? Yeah, very subtle. Very subtle. He knows what you're doing. Because it's handy that you, you know, have it in your jacket pocket. This so map it, it marks look. the locations of all the wolf killings, right? Yes. Hmm. What? The one last night, the, the one in the middle, doesn't really fit, does it? It has to fit. It happens. It's a strange That's pattern. Close. It's a very strange pattern. So we've got the outskirts, two on the outskirts. And one right in the middle. Okay. This is very police station music. Very police station music. Screams German police for some reason. I don't have any more questions for the Commissar. At least he's neater than Detective Mosley. Probably nothing of interest back there. Besides, I can't see past the commissar's big head. Calm down. No need to insult him. To relief. Let's let's, let's go. Let's go. Stay out of trouble. Always. Of course. Unless trouble trouble finds me. Okay. So where do we need to go? Let's head back to the... Let's get somewhere quiet. And let's head back to the Hooper Estate. Did I take the phone number? Hold on, did I? My no my notebook. I guess he wrote the address and the phone number down. Can we ring that number? Can we There's a phone, isn't it? We've got a phone there is a phone in here, isn't there? There's a phone. Who should I call? And uh, let's Oh, Ghostworks phone. Okay, I'm looking at the notepad. I didn't realize it was a separate page. Let's have a chat with him. Well, whoever's on the on the line. It's obviously not him because he's dead. God, I miss an old rotary phone. One way when you're hung up, you know, in you know, angry, Hello. really smash it in Matt? the face. I'm an American associate of Herr Grossberg's. Yes. I was just calling the people in Herr Grossberg's address book to notify them. Have you heard that Herr Grossberg has... Yes, I, I know about his death. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me your name again so I can check you off the list? Uh, Knight. 
Ella Hoffman. I'm not finding you. Could you check under Vaughn? It's Vaughn night. Oh, so, yes, Vaughn. Von Eigner, von Frank, von Stein. You're not under Vaughn either. Excuse me, did you say Von Agner? Yes. Do you know Von Agner? I don't von know Agner. him. I don't know most of Grossberg's business contacts. Grossberg, no. If this is about money, you're out of luck. All the accounts are locked until someone comes in and takes over. Besides, there's nothing in them anyway. Really? Well, could you just look up an account balance for me? I can't. The address book is all I have. The police have taken her Grossberg's letters. Oh. Well, okay. The police are taking everything else. Goodbye. So Van Agner is one of the guys at the Hunt Club. Isn't he? He is. I don't have anything to write about at the moment. Okay. Okay, let's head out. Hmm. I don't have anything to write about at the moment. No. I don't think there's much more to be gained from Grossberg's assistant. Okay. to leave let's head back I wonder if I missed something on the map the police station is closed then again maybe not okay Head back to the thingy. See if we can get some information out of Uber Growl about our guy. Uh, ooh. Okay. So we'll have some conversation. Ludwig II. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? But naturally. Have you uh, been running into him much on your tour of Munich? Running into him, isn't he dead? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, long dead. But he is still everywhere. Long dead. Like your um, Marilyn Monroe or uh, Elvis. He is the Bavarian enigma. Okay. Can you so get me information? What's the big deal about this Ludwig guy? <laughs> they call him the fairy tale king. Uh, he's very romantic and mysterious, you know. He built castles and now they are huge tourist attractions. Castles? Lots Where of castles. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Herren Chiemsee is about three hours southeast. Uh, Neuschwanstein is southwest of the border with Switzerland, about two, two and a half hours. Um, I can have my secretary draw you a map if you like, but um, most German maps have them already marked. Uh, no, no thanks. Uh, I don't, we're not going to be traveling to them. Myself. But it does seem like a harmless enough activity for someone else I know. So this guy's oh. just a dead king, right? And these we can go just and get out in the countryside. We hours. can get Grace to go visit them. <laughs> yes. 
Perfect. Okay, let's have a chat. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? No. Uh, sorry. He is quite young now. That's all right. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, oh, missing persons cases as you well. May as well chat to him about that. Using your secretary for research? No, any time. Great. I wouldn't ask, but I need a newspaper search done, and my German sucks. <laughs> no problem. What exactly are you looking for? Missing persons. Actually, missing persons cases that occurred in or near forested areas. Uh, how far back do you want to go? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can spare her later in the day. Uh, we should have it ready for you by tomorrow. Okay. Great. That's, that sounds good. Thanks. Sounds good to me. All uh, right, so we're exhausted all of that one, so... Yeah, I'm off. See you, Harry. See you later. Are you going to answer? Are you going to make a phone call? Yeah, Harry makes a phone call. Every time I leave, he makes a phone call. It's very suspicious. So maybe if we get to... And maybe write uh, Grace a letter and get her to go and investigate Ludwig the Ludwig Castles. Yep, there we go. Write her a letter. Write a letter. I'd better make sure Gracie keeps busy elsewhere. Guess she doesn't want to come. Wasn't doesn't want her to come here. It was a very fast written letter. Wait, do I have to? There's no post office over here, was there? I was hoping for a mercy. Shut up, Gabriel. About the car. We're going to have to go back to Ubergra. <laughs> We're going to have to make a special trip back to the lawyer just to send this letter. And put it in the internal because I don't think there's a post office. Okay, Miriam Platz. Sorry to bother you again. I mean, I could just give it straight to the. Uh... I'm not sure why Sorry I'd want to you. show him that. I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. I don't have anything else to say right now. I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. Okay. Yeah, I'm off. See ya. Strange. So I mustn't be able to... Wait, what's the report office? Strange. I can't remember if. I genuinely can't remember if there was a post office. Oh, of course, Rosman. Stupid. Alright. 
Forces letter. I don't know why I thought I would be able to put it in to Uber Growl's outgoing mail. Because I've completely forgot this place existed. That's taken care of. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. She's been standing, or that person's been standing there for quite a long time. Oh, actually, can I? Oh, I can't get up there. Okay. While we're here, we might as well pop in and have a quick chat. I think Hello? I pumped that particular well dry. Can we go in? Is there anyone here? Oh, we have music. We have a scene. Okay. I think we're in the right, right. spot. And you have prize? visiting a friend nearby and I thought that I should take a shower before they was arrived. I was a bit mm, aromatic. Huh. Visiting a friend is a little bit aromatic. And my camera's froze. Are we good? Thoughtful. Sorry, I was a bit, when the my camera went a bit strange there. I apologize. Uh, can we have a chat? Can we have a nice. chat real quick? So sit down. He's a scary individual as well. Yes. Yes. Tell me about yourself. Baron Von Glau mentioned that you're a lawyer. Yes. And fortunately for me these days, I have enough money to where I only have to take those cases which interest me. I enjoy my leisure time. No doubt. And what do you do with no your leisure No doubt. Leisure time. I entertain. Okay. Entertain yourself? Uh, probably a dumb question, but what sort of entertaining do you do? <laughs> I didn't actually. I'll say that was a joke, but I didn't actually expect him to. I've been known to. I adore them. You might call it an obsession. The stalk, the dance, the bait, the hook. And what do you He's do? He's a very ladies' man. Talk to him. Oh, you know. You're quite the pleasurist yourself. Or have I misled you? Okay. You're probably just getting away with the last prize. Give him a very, very good old pirate. Everyone needs a good pirate now and again. What do you think of the club philosophy? It works, doesn't it? Does it? We are all animals, but I deny it. So you don't believe in suppressing anything? Why would I want to suppress my urges? If your body wants something, it must be okay. natural. Well, what if you get the natural urge to uh, rip someone's throat out? Well, fortunately, my instincts run to pleasure. Of the equally sticky but less fatal kind. Mm. But what about those whose instincts are fatal? Uh, shouldn't they suppress? They're a little bit worrisome. Said nature handles that scenario when it occurs here night. He's quite a scary guy. Exactly. Rice is very is quite wild, creepy guy. A member of society does not conform. He is hunted down and executed. End of mutant instinct. 
and its genetic bloodline. Okay. He's a very serious individual. Uh, tell me about the club members. Tell me about the other club members. Oh, is that all right? Don't worry about Von Zell. He's a bastard to everyone these days. PMS? <laughs> Something like that. The problem is. Oh, he's always been an arrogant bastard, competitive on the hunts, ambitious. A little bit of a stick up his ass. No, uh, he was decent enough at one time. In fact, he was Von Glora's favorite. And he was an asset as a friend. Was. But things change. What changed exactly? Have they been going around killing people? And what about the other club members? Like who? Hanneman, for example. I've heard he's in line for a position extremely high up in the government. Hanneman, he is a drunk. Mm -hmm. His days as a political superstar are over. My friends at the courthouse tell me that he has been marked for early retirement. One less politician to worry about, huh? Eh, yeah, I guess. But it contradicts what Mr. Von Glauer, or Baron Von Glauer, was saying. When did Von Zell begin to change? Oh, he's been getting worse for a long time. I remember... What happened? To what did happen to him? About a year ago. That was the last time I remember that we were all together and having a good time. He must have started getting difficult after that. So something happened on that, uh, on that hunting trip to change things. Seems like you've pretty much written Von Zell off yourself. Uh, any particular reason? Look, it's one thing when he insults the rest of us. But when he insults the Baron, uh, I heard him arguing once. When Glover told Von Zell he did, acted stupidly by something or the other. Okay. Von Zell was furious. What'd he say? A little, little bit further away from the uh, mic, Baron. dude. That's peaking quite he fast. He was weak. Bastard. I don't know why. The Baron didn't get away with it. I mean, I would have said something at the time, but, well, it was a private conversation. Uh-huh. Um, when was this? I don't know. Five, six weeks ago? So, so around about the time the hunting trip, wasn't it? Or well, did I get that completely wrong there? Tell me more about Von Zell. How was Von Zell an asset as a friend? He is a banker. Are you saying he loaned you money? He's always willing to help out his good friends. In other words, Why take money from other people's account. Money? I thought y'all were models of success. Yes, well, fortunately, I took less advantage of Fonzel's hospitality than some. Okay. Interesting. So he likes to dish out money. And then here's the killer question. Have you here's ever the killer of, uh, question. The Black Wolf? Yes. Oh, Christ. Really? Where? Oh, I don't know. Just sounds familiar. He's the first one to answer correct, like, we'll remember? say correctly. Of course. Strange. He's the first one to actually say yes, he's heard of the Black Wolf. Uh, the reinforcements have arrived. Now you'll have someone new to probe, Air Knight. Thank you. My Thanks for your man, time. Good to you both. Where's the bear? Good night, my man. Uh, good evening. Good night. Straight into boo booze mode. Abend. 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 Meine kleine Familie. How are you all this evening? Hello. Hello. Gabriel, I'm glad you could join us. Thank you. I need to speak with Zabana. Enjoy your evening, Hermite. Thanks. 
I will. Hold on. May I speak to you for a minute? What are these still wearing riding boots? Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Who are we gonna talk to first? Can talk to Zonzel? Yes, how night? Um Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Fine. Would you excuse us, please? We are discussing something private. Oh, in a public place. <laughs> sure. Okay. Just the right size for the big bad wolf to come down the chimney. Unless... Just the right size for the big bad... Okay. Who talking to... Uh, the, let's talk with these guys. The Baron and that we're not going to be able to talk to them. Yeah, so, good evening, Herr Knight. Good evening, good evening, good evening. You care to join us? Sure. Why not? I've spoken I'm not with several to... of the club members today, but I haven't had a chance to speak with you yet, Herr Von Agner. How tragic. No one in this club talks better than I do. <laughs> oh, true. Very true. <laughs> I like the sound of his own voice. Uh, I'm... I'd be delighted. I haven't had a chance to get to know you yet, Herr Hanneman. <laughs> well, I'm already beyond serious conversation tonight, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, so he's drunk already. <laughs> drunk already. Ask him about the you guys heard about the killing? killing last night? <sighs> Happened right around the corner. Awful. Simply awful. I had meant to get a newspaper, but the time got away from me. Do you have any details? Uh, a few. Uh, the victim was a man named Grossberg. He ran a furry business in town. That's horrible. You know, this zoo wolf business is inexcusable. The mayor has been spoken He knows something. He's worried. He knows something. Even the prime minister is concerned. Did you know Grossberg, Herr Von Eck? Uh, me? Grossberg? Uh, why no? No. Why, why do you ask? Because you look just, mildly uh, suspicious uh, when I mentioned his name. The animal processing business. Munich is a big city, Herr Knight. So it is. Ah, uh, well, I was just curious. So, what are we all, are we talk all talking about? about? Came up? Tomorrow's little excursion. Will you be joining us? A uh, monthly hunting trip. Oh, okay. A trip? Really? Where? Our lodge is at Eppenberg. It's in the Bavarian National Forest. We leave tomorrow afternoon. Well, gosh. You know, that sounds great. But uh, I need to have my gun cleaned. And, uh... Oh, there are plenty of guns at the lodge. Yeah, von Eigner, perhaps the Baron did not mean for Herr Knight to join us quite so soon. <laughs> oh, hell, why not? Oh. Baron? Von Eigner? Our hunting trip tomorrow. Will our new American friend be going with us? Tonight? Well, I don't see why of he could... Of course not. He's not a club member. He's probably not even registered with the license office. Nonsense, Gar. The sooner we get to see his technique, the better. But... We'll just slip him in, and he can register properly when we get back. But that's not legal. Since when do you care about legalities? It's only a hunting license? I agree. I would yeah, he's, he, he's right? not interested in Gabriel. Well, Enough said. The Baron should certainly get whatever he wants, shouldn't he? Perhaps what is his club? Interesting exercise of that. So I'm wondering, can I eavesdrop on this conversation? Just the right size for the big bad. 
just the right Hi. Hey. Sorry to bother you. Can I join you in a moment, Gabriel? Price and I are almost finished. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll be around. Just the right size for the Just the right size for Oh No, I don't want to go that way I've already bonded with those two Maybe tape recorder I'd love to record what they're saying But every time I get close, they clam up I'd love to record what they're saying. Okay, can I? Just the right. Just the right size for the. Just the right size for the big bad wolf. I don't think I should get too comfy around here. Oh, exit. It just leads to a back alley. Oh, okay. So I had to leave and come back. All right, all right. Yes, how night? Hi. Uh. Oh, okay. Magazine. Just wanted to grab a magazine. Aha. Then grab one. Calm down, my dude. Just calm down. Thanks. Calm down. Uh, right, so I don't think we can do that right now. Let's go out back. Let's go. Let's combine that with that. That's a thought. That is a thought. Uh, so now we can. Just wanted to put this magazine back. Okay, so we can now invest, you know. It wasn't very good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Huh. Smooth, Gabriel. Very smooth. Okay. Gentlemen, you excuse me, please. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm just killing, killing time until. To oh, finish the conversation. It's been loads of fun. Good. I'm glad you're going with us tomorrow. We don't get started until the afternoon, so uh, we'll have to worry about staying up late tonight. I have to warn you, uh, my hunting's kind of rusty. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Was? East. I demand to know what you're doing at this club. <sighs> Me? Baron Gonzalo. Really? Are you aware that this guest of yours has been asking intimate questions? Poking around in our personal affairs? Oops. He must be a reporter. Or the police. <laughs> what do we have to fear from a reporter or the police? Although I can promise you, her night is neither. You don't care that he's prying into our private business? What possible motive could he have? Dark. Please. Okay, calm down. Take it down a notch. Take it down a notch, You're guys. The one who's turning that into <laughs> an inquisition. Then it is on your head. He's a very angry gentleman. He's very angry. I apologize for that. You keep defending me. Uh, I'm not exactly helping the harmony around here. Believe me, the harmony was shattered a long time before you came. Okay. It's all good, so... Territorial. 
tie it up, frankly. Well, I should go anyway. I wanted to clean Pink up. Pink Funzel tonight. might be dead next. All right. Good night, everyone. Oh, good enough. Good night, night. Good night, Hair Knight. Can't forget the tape recorder. Wait, did I pick up the tape? Please say I took pick up the tape recorder. Oh, we are being watched. I was going to say that's a big pile of shit, but it's not a pile of shit. It's, a, <laughs> it's an animal. <laughs> oh, we have a wolfie on the ball. Seize my talisman. I think we are being spied on for sure. Chapter four. Right, guys. On that note, we are going to leave that here for today. Interesting concept. We've, taken, we've managed to dig in a little bit deeper. We managed to get some more information about werewolves in general. We're going to get Grace to go and investigate Ludwig's castles. Maybe just one of them. I'm not entirely sure if it's one or all of them. I think it's just the one. Also, Hunting Club, very fucking suspicious. Lots of the members there are very weird in their own little way. They're all in places of privilege and power, which I think is by design. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here, Feel free to come hang out. Come check out some other stuff I've got going on. We would love to have you here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you again for all the support. It is much appreciated. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And as always, we shall see you on the flip side. Bye bye.